What was that you're saying, Rick? Nothing scares me now after dealing with them bees yesterday. <laughs> Let's see. So, <laughs> we've got some tree bumblebees, I think they are. And what they've done in this rabbit hutch, there's a couple of stray, stray cats live occasionally. And the guy noticed that the stray cats weren't sleeping in here. And he realised, there's all that bee poo up there, look, on that sheet, that there's tree bumblebees in here. So, do you want me to have the lid if you're going to get them out? Yeah. I don't know whether that whole thing's going to fit in, you know. No, I'm going to try and find the nest itself and try and lift the nest out. So they'll probably stuck it all together, aren't they? Is, it, oh, is, it, is that a flea? They're already on there. There could well be fleas of millions in there, mate, like, if the stray cats live in there. There's a like queen, it. there's two queens. Where's the Have they just built it between the two things? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it out of here. Pull it out, I? I can't see what I'm doing. It's that weird creature there. Some other kind of beastie that lives on stray cats maybe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get any more stings, Ricky. All right. Put it on the floor. I'm hoping we can just take that. It's going to be too big to get in the box, isn't it? If it's, uh, there's some massive queens. Oh, oh that's all the, the, the beasties that live on. The, they're them wax moths. Wax larvae. moths, yeah, they are. So this isn't a very healthy colony by the looks of it. There's plenty of queens. Where's the bloody nest? Is this it coming now? It stinks, doesn't it? Gonna be all wrapped in that. There, there it is. There's the nest. There it is. Oh great! That's isn't quite a big nest. Um, what are we gonna do here then? It's inside the actual pillow. I'm actually chewed into the pillow. Look, it's a little baby one. Maybe if I got my knife, perhaps I could cut that. I'll get it. It's that weird insulation that's like. Look. Man. So I'll stand it upright, yeah. Okay, let's just keep getting it in there, mate. I'd leave that where, where, where the nest was, to be honest. It's like something out of a horror movie, this is. <laughs> Them wax moths look at nasty, aren't they? Yeah, we don't. I don't know what to do with all the, the rest of it. To be honest, that needs to go in a bin or something, doesn't it? Look at that. Ooh, lovely. What the hell? So right, they've started to sting me now. Um, the max it... wax moths all doing a runner. What we might need to do is put this box back in there with the bent with it open, put it back inside there, and then come back later on maybe. Oh, there's some queer. Oh, oh I don't know that the wax moths are. That's nasty, that does. Horrible. It's vile, isn't it? It is. Put the shadow on the video. I'm trying to pick them up and put them in there. This side's left, dude. Come here. Right, what we'll do, Rick, we'll go get your tools, we'll leave this in there, we'll come back and pick it up. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the box inside, you might be able to make out all the bees going up. Not their normal entrance. In fact, Rick, what I want to do is move that, move the box so it's right next to the front there. So, that, so we'll see how they're walking up on the inside, hopefully they'll find the... Is that one bit of bloody cardboard, you know? As long as that's open, they'll, they'll, they'll slowly pick it up. See how they're going up there. Can you see them going up? They'll work it out. Hopefully, so we'll be back in 45 minutes. Okay, so back again at this slightly strange one. Uh, a bit more worried about the fleas than we are the bumblebees on this, to be honest, because there's some uh, stray cats living in here. So, 
what we've done, we put the box back inside, we have the nest in it, minus some trees. So now we need to seal the box up. The bees now are crawled up through the entrance point into there. We'll seal those up and uh, we'll take them away. Have a job done.